Hello everybody and welcome to PRSD Tech Tips. I'm Mr. Bart and today we're going to be signing into Google Chrome. So in the last episode we went through uh, just the web based meaning here I am signed in here but today what we're going to do is sign into the browser itself. Obviously this will only work through Google Chrome so if you have Firefox or Safari or Internet Explorer this won't work but it's neat because all of your uh, web history that you've uh, visited under your PRSD account and then all of your bookmarks, they'll all appear. So it's a pretty cool thing to have. Um, you can see I was able to do that because I'm already signed in on my computer uh, and I did that just by going up here. If you haven't signed in yet, it'll probably say sign in up there. Uh, or if you have like your home account signed in, you can just come down to manage people and you can add some people. You can see uh, these uh, I'm going to remove because this is just from previous takes of this same uh, tutorial. But if so, if you wanted to remove anyone, that's how you would do it. Just go over to these three dots and allow you to remove them. But I want to add a person, so the bottom right. Um, if you set a custom thumbnail for yourself, don't worry, you can just pick whatever one. The custom thumbnail will end up syncing after the fact. You just type in your persona, then add. Um, this is not going to work for me because I'm already signed in, but if you just signed in, you put in your email, next, and then I put in my password, but obviously I'm already signed in. Uh, you put in your password here and you'll be logged into the browser as well as um, just online in general. So for example, uh, he here I am, I'm signed in using Google Chrome and just on the web. Uh, but under guest, I'm only signed in on the web because so my history won't be readily available to me. You can still track it down but it takes a few more steps. The nice thing about this is if you are using a Chrome at say the Donahue school and you're just typing away and for some reason you have to go to the middle school um, but you don't remember to email yourself the uh, specific web pages you were looking at uh, when you get to the Donahue school I'm sorry when you get to the middle school you can just sign in you know, go to Google Chrome and sign in and you'll have access to the places you just were and all of your bookmarks if you need them so a really cool tool um, you can keep things a little bit more separate here so if you have your own personal Google account uh, you can keep that separate using separate profiles sort of like the ones I have here uh, so like I have one for Pentucket TV another one for where I coach and those are completely separate they don't overlap um, so they have completely different interfaces you just want to make sure that you're signed in under the same user so you can see sbartholomew at prsd.org and then Mr. Bart up here is the profile I use. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask uh, and I can totally create you a custom video tutorial. Uh, so many awesome things are available to us using the Google Education Suite and it can be very easy to get overwhelmed very quickly, uh, but totally understand that and any question you have, happy to help you out through it because I think that allows people who come after you to have a resource readily available. So feel free to shoot me an email. Have a wonderful day.